Hey everybody, Brooks from Drag Times here. I'm here with my Tesla Model 3 Performance and today I'm going over how to put the car into dyno mode. That's right, Tesla came out with, uh, they didn't really publish it, but it's uh, hidden somewhere where you can put the car in dyno mode. A lot of people complain that when they do put it on the dyno, uh, the car complains. So we did dyno testing on the regular Tesla Model 3 quite a long time ago. We actually had to pull ABS sensors and such to get that thing to behave on the dyno. So let me go over dyno mode and some other Tesla updates for you. All right, so if you remember a while ago, I did a video on the Tesla Model S where the, if you change the wheel configuration and while the, while the uh, Tesla was rebooting, you tried to put the car in drive, it actually deactivated all the systems. That's kind of like dyno mode. I did some burnouts and some acceleration tests, but that trick never worked in the Model 3. But this actually works in the Model 3. And, you know, aside from being able to dyno the car, uh, I know you can, you can already drift the Model 3 in track mode, so I'm, I'm, I'm sure that doesn't really change anything. But I was always wondering, you know, if, if traction control is completely off the Model 3, because it's still on a little bit, even in track mode, uh, will the car be faster? So I'm charging up the car right now. Let's go ahead and show you how to put the car in dyno mode. I'll do that in the Model 3, then I'll show you in the Model S what it looks like. Then, after the car is charged, let's take it out and get some 0-60 to 60 testing and see... Uh, with all the traction control systems completely off, will the Model 3 come off a little harder? Maybe get zero to 60, uh, maybe get some gains in the zero to 60 times. But before I do that, I just ordered a, a new Tesla Model Y. Uh, they updated the configurator actually yesterday when uh, Tesla re did their earnings call and such. So uh, there was $2,500 to order the Model Y. They actually said production's already started. Deliveries of the high-end model will actually start in March. So I was pretty excited. I uh, ordered a red Tesla Model Y Performance, and uh, I'm pretty excited to get that. Hopefully in March we can get that out and get some testing done with that. Uh, the plan is I'm going to actually trade my Model S uh, for the Tesla Model Y. My car's getting old now, and uh, then I'm going to probably drive this Model 3. My wife will drive the Model Y, and then I'm going to wait for either the Model 3 ludicrous mode or... As uh, Elon said, there's a Plaid Mode Model S refresh coming towards the end of the year. So I'll drive the Model 3 until uh, Plaid Mode Model S or Performance Ludicrous 3 comes out. Uh, so I think that's the plan. All right, so on to the good stuff. Here we go. What you do is you hold down the Tesla logo until it blinks a little bit. Just a few seconds. And after that, it says, please enter an access code. In here, you type in the word Dino Test. Now there's one more trick. After you type that in, you gotta hit your left turn signal on, and then hit the OK button. All right, so here you go. Now we're in dyno mode. If you click on the little uh, hazard icon right here, you can see the notifications. We have automatic emergency braking disabled, traction control off, stability control disabled, dyno mode enabled. This says dev mode only. Do not drive on public roads, and uh, obviously I need some uh, washer fluid. All right, so fair warning, as I said when I did the Model S test, most 99.99% .99 of the people should never even turn this on. Uh, the car drives really weird. It's actually pretty dangerous when you don't have traction control with all the torque that these Teslas provide. So fair warning, be very, very careful. I'm gonna go ahead and jump in the Model S and show you because it's a little bit different what it shows you. And then we'll go ahead and do some zero to 60 testing in the Model 3 and see if it makes a difference. My personal kind of uh, prediction is it doesn't make a difference, but whatever, let's give it a try. All right, so let's do the Model S little garage update. We still got the two Ford GTs and the McLaren 720s. The Lamborghini is in for repairs. Something happened. I'm going to go over that later. Be very careful. Can't hit the McLaren. All right, so Model S, same procedure. Hold the button down until it blinks a little bit. Type in the word dyno test. Whoops, test, and then left turn signal, not windshield wipers, left turn signal, press on OK. There you go, look at this. A little more dramatic in the uh, Model S. You get a big dyno mode across the screen here. You get dyno mode here, and then if you click on this button up here, you get all the kind of stuff that you saw before, emergency braking, dyno mode, traction control disabled, and all that kind of good stuff. So so because the Model S already has ludicrous mode, launch mode, that kind of stuff, I'm not expecting any differences. I bet you can't even launch the car like this because uh, when I did it previously, using the previous method, I couldn't launch it either. So I'm actually just do the testing in the Model 3. Let's uh, head out and get it done. So while I'm driving out to the spot where we'll do a little zero to 60 testing, what does everyone think about Tesla stock? This thing's been going nuts. Now I bought Tesla stock 
uh, I think back in 2013 when I got uh, my first or second Model S. And let's just say the gains are around 1100% or so, and I can easily sell that and actually pay for the Model Y that I just ordered, so it's tough. Should I take some money off the table? You think Tesla's gonna run up? Some people are saying it's gonna go to 6,000, which would be absolutely crazy. Is Tesla the new Apple, Amazon, uh, Walmart? That's yet to be seen, but things are looking really, really good. It's tempting to take money off the table and sell it, but man, it's tempting to let it run too and see how it does. All right, quick zero to 60 test. This is in regular, full charge, uh, not the dynamo. Let's see what it runs. Now my best time in the Tesla Model 3 after the last performance update was 2.9999. Now you can't always get that. That took quite a few tries to get. V-Box shows the kind of normal uh, 3.1. And the Draggy shows pretty much the same. Go, let's give it a try in the dyno mode. And see what we get. I felt a little wheel spin actually right there. 60. Huh, and I usually don't feel that. All right, so zero to 60 was actually the same, but I felt wheel spin, which I did not feel uh, when the dyno mode was not on. So obviously, you know, you're spinning, that takes away from the zero to 60 times. So all the 60 times the same, it was spinning. I'm gonna go try a piece of pavement that I know is a little better to get it to hook. And uh, because it did not spin at all, when we did it in the uh, non-dyno mode. So let's give it another try. 30, 60. All right, so my final opinion on the dyno test mode in the Tesla Model 3. So first test, we got 3.1. Second test, it spun, we got 3.1. And then I found a little better piece of pavement and got like 3.02, 3.02, I did a few more tests. So there could be a slight improvement, I think, without being in a drag strip with some really sticky track conditions. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell, so maybe a tiny improvement. Other than that, I think dyno mode's pretty much just used for if you're gonna dyno the car, but these days there's some other options. So I got this. A dongle here for my Tesla Model 3 and my Tesla Model S. You plug this in and there's an app called Scan My Tesla and that measures a ton of parameters for each car including power output of the motor. So if you want to look at before and after results after a software update or you know power at different charge levels this thing is super cool. I'm going to do a separate video on this later on. Uh, you've seen some other videos on this but it's super super cool. I got it on both cars so look for a video later on about this adapter which intercepts the CAN bus of both cars uh, you have to have an Android device uh, and the I Scan My Tesla app view all sorts of really, really cool stats. Some upcoming videos I got. We got the new Ford GT. If you didn't see one of my view videos a while back where I did some autocrossing. So we autocross new GT versus the Tesla Model 3 performance. That was a lot of fun. Super, super close. I'll put a couple clips up here of that. Other thing is I come and I got my Huracan versus the McLaren GT. We got M8 versus X3M. And then next week I got something pretty, pretty big coming up. I can't say exactly what's happening, but I can say that a lot of people have been waiting for this race. So make sure you're subscribed. And also check me out on Instagram. It's dragtimescom because I'll be posting updates as the things unfold next week. Thanks for watching.